Hi everyone, for those who have just joined, I'm Sashin from the SMB product marketing team. And welcome to the second masterclass, how to grow your business online with Google Ads. I hope you've been taking a lot of notes. And again, please remember to type your questions in the chat below, and we'll do our best to reply as the masterclass goes on. Note that this session will also be available to watch on demand afterwards. Now, I'd like to call on Goodman, an account manager for Google Sub-Saharan Africa to deliver our second masterclass. Hi everyone, today we're going to be covering Google Ads and how you can grow your business awareness online. Before we begin, we're going to do some housekeeping. So please be present to avoid any dis digital distractions. Please do take notes, uh, pen and paper or any device and, um, and also participate. Uh, today, we're going to cover three things. The first one is around importance of digital advertising, digital channels, uh, and we're going to cover introducing you to Google Ads. So we're going to cover how to establish your brand online. But before we do that, uh, here's why businesses are going online today. Around 1.79 billion people shopped online last year, and 97% learn more about a business online than anywhere else. And 95% of purchases will be through e-commerce by 2040. So how do businesses use the internet? The first one is selling products, buying products, advertising, reaching customers, and doing research on their competitors. And continuing on the same thought on how businesses use the internet, they could use it through your uh, own website by having your own platform, social media platforms, where in an interactive platform accessible to a large varying uh, audiences, and an online directory where they can actually search uh, online for different services. And the last one is around e-commerce platform. So a platform which allows you to sell your product and services online. These are different varying ways uh, in which um, businesses use the internet. So there are three uh, aspects into how businesses look uh, uh, using uh, internet online, uh, use the internet for. So the first one is credibility, meaning that they can actually control uh, the cost, they can control the audiences, they can co control the time and then the costs. And then the second one is around measurability. They can measure uh, when, in, for example, a customer clicked an ad, how long um, they uh, obviously uh, you know, spent on the website and at what cost. And then the second one is around reach targetability. Reach targetability, uh, reach target, uh, reach targetability uh, is concerned with um, uh, how much reach uh, there is, like how many clients are you reaching, how many of your customers, and how are you targeting them. The last one is around scalability and accessibility, meaning the scale, uh, uh, how much of those clients, and then how you are obviously accessing them, and no barriers to entry. For example, you could be a customer. Uh, or a business in South Africa and want to show ads in Lagos or Nigeria. And you can actually do this with uh, accessibility. So now let's go through the benefits of selling uh, online. Um, the first one is around go to market, right? The fact that you can actually do that in a timely manner. If you wanted to create an ad today and show the ads today, that's something you can do uh, accessibly. And then also there's a low cost of setting up. So it's actually cheaper to set up your ads. And then most buyers actually start searching for products online, which makes it easier to be discovered by potential buyers and, and reaching new clients uh, online and new customers and reaching customers as they search for your product. And also it re reduces the geographic boundaries uh, when it comes to selling. Like I mentioned earlier, you could be a South African client based in Joburg or Cape Town and want to show ads in Lagos or Nigeria. And most importantly, uh, it lets you track visitors' behavior on your website. For an example, uh, we can see uh, uh, for example, uh, how much a cart was if someone was buying something. Uh, we can also see whether they abandoned the cart and at what time they abandoned the cart. And then the last one is around online shopping, offers convenience to uh, to shoppers uh, and uh, uh, in terms of you know uh, 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 convenience uh, online. Again, going back to this important information, around 44% of mobile internet users use Google every day and around 24% uh, every week. That is around 77% of uh, Google search, uh, searches take place um, uh, daily, weekly, uh, or monthly. And now into an introduction to Google Ads campaigns. So there are two things that we need to cover when we're actually helping you to grow your business online using Google Ads. So the first one is discovering the what. So what is an online advertising product? 
that can help you attract people to your website or grow your business. Um, that is figuring out what is it that you want to sell. And then the how is how you're going to do it. What platforms are you going to use and how you're going to reach um, those clients. So these are the types of Google ads that are available. So the first one is you want to show uh, up when people are searching for you and what you want to offer. So that's when you will show search campaigns. You want to capture attention with banner ads. That's when we use display campaigns. You want to bring your business's stories to life with video. That's when you use video campaigns. And lastly, you want to show off your online and local inventory. That's when we use shopping campaigns. So Google Ads can actually help grow your business. You can advertise again um, uh, on Google Ads to ensure that your users searching for you and your services can see your ads. And this will increase the traffic to your website, either using search, display, shopping, and YouTube. I will go in depth with how all these platforms work and starting with an important one in terms of search ads on Google. So this is how a search ad would look like. For example, you would have a headline, a link, uh, and a seller rating as a snippet, and then you'd have a description, and then you'd have the offerings, and then the location, how to call, and when the timing of uh, openings. So for example, one of the most important things is for you to know that you only pay when people click an ad. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to use the obvious.com dog uh, callers, and I wanted to know where they're based. Google can show me where the location is, and I can drive there and then know when the opening times are. In this instance, it's 9 a.m. Between, uh, between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. So how do these ads actually appear on Google search? The first one is the advertiser will select relevant keywords. That is you. You would select the relevant keywords. In this instance, if you wanted to buy coffee, you can... Uh, actually introduce new different keywords of uh, how people would relate to coffee. My, uh, a chai latte, uh, you'd have um, a cappuccino, you'd have an espresso, uh, you'd have a black coffee, and then you'd use those keywords. And then the customer would go online, uh, for example, Google search, and search for a black coffee uh, or coffee store near me, and then would then uh, go into an auction with those coffee shops in the local uh, place uh, going on an auction, and then the, an, an, appear, an ad will win. Of the, the auction and then the, uh, the ad will appear. The advertiser, again, uh, uh, when the only pay when uh, when the ad is clicked, and we obviously you would pay uh, using cost cost per click. So here's another example of something that you may be relevant with if you're located in South Africa. This is an, an example of Sun City, which is a hotel and resort location in the Northwest. You will see in this uh, instance that they are Different ads that showed up in the auction. The first one is booking.com. The second one is hotels.com. And then the third one is another uh, um, travel platform too. But you'd also see that there'll be an organic search that actually appears there. So this shows a, a high intent based on the ad, based on the search, where it can show the most relevant information to the customer. Google helps you strategically target customers to maybe the location. So this is really important to strategically uh, target uh, your customers. And now moving on to Google Display Ads. So there are different uh, display ads that we can show. Uh, remember that the Google network actually reaches around, display ad uh, network reaches around 90% of internet users worldwide across millions of websites, news pages, blogs, and Google sites like Gmail and YouTube. So we have a text ad format. It's something that will look like this. Uh, as you can see here, this are for more low um, uh, phones uh, that are not, you know, that advanced. And for more advanced phone where it uses apps, we're able to show display ads too. And then also Gmail ads. If someone uses Gmail and they're showing them, uh, 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 they're using Gmail, we can uh, show ads. And then also there are banner ads, which we can also show on Gmail. Why is it that you'd want to be on the display network? So how do you connect with potential customers when they're really not searching for you? You use display. Something that you need to know is around 21% of the time spent online is actually just spent on search, while around 79% of the time is spent outside search. So what does this mean? So let's just say, hypothetically, I was looking for coffee. And what would happen is I would actually search for the coffee shops near me. Then Google will show me the relevant ad. But I would spend around 80% of the time outside the network of search, meaning I would be looking at display, I would be comparing prices, maybe I would I'd be going on YouTube, learning more about the coffee and the variety of the coffee. Uh, I'll maybe go on sites to compare things. Um, so 79% of the searches actually uh, of time uh, is spent outside, outside search. And this is why you want to be in the platform and be using this. 
Now moving on to how do ads appear on display? So the advertisers select the audience that's relevant to the topic or interest. So in this instance, let's say I wanted to target uh, people who are avid readers and uh, I made a, an assessment that people who read a lot are people who actually prefer to drink coffee. And what would then happen is the potential customers reading the blog or website, maybe let's just say they're reading a local newspaper in South Africa, an ad auction will take place between those uh, coffee shops and the winning ad will then appear. And remember again, we only you only pay the cost per click based on the customer that clicked uh, the, the ad. Now moving on to Gmail ads. With Gmail ads, these are ads that appear on top of your Gmail emails, creating a massive awareness. Let's just say I was traveling in the next seven days, either from Cape Town or Joburg. You can see there that an ad from Kenya Airways shows up where they show me that over 300 seats are available. So in this instance, I'll try and uh, I'll click on the ad uh, on uh, from uh, from Gmail. The next one, which is a really, really important platform that you can advertise on is YouTube. So with YouTube ads, you can actually reach potential customers and have them take action when they watch or search for videos on YouTube and can only play when they show interest. Let's just say in this instance, I was watching one of my favorite South African comedians, which is Trevor Noah, and I was watching one of the um, uh, shows. Uh, in this instance, I can then begin to see my uh, different ads uh, on while watching the video in different formats. You can see it on the left, you can see it on the top there, and then also or, uh, 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 on the video itself. Remember again, just tying this uh, again, 44% of mobile internet users use Google every day and around 24% every week. So this is around 28% daily, 22% weekly, and around 10% monthly. And what does this mean? Uh, to reiterate and emphasize that around 24% daily, 55% weekly, and 69% monthly. Going back to YouTube, around 69% of online consumers actually looked on YouTube for ideas. Let's go to the statistics. So 59% of them were actually, 57% of them were there comparing products. Around 56% actually looked for the latest shopping or on, on, on how to wear, uh, wear something. This is relevant to me. I was at a wedding recently and I wanted to know how to tie a tie and I went on uh, YouTube to look for this. Around 47% looked for tips for studying. Around 45% looked for travel tips while visiting a new place. Um, uh, 41% look look, looked for cooking instructions, 39% setting up and installing a new product, and 34% fixing product or equipment, 22% around uh, applying makeup, and 16% calculating uh, home loans or car loans. So this is a very, very, very important platform uh, if you want to get uh, uh, your customers where they are uh, and interacting. So what targeting options are available? And Google Ads, various ones. The first one is location. So for example, if you're based in Joburg as a business and wanted to show your ads in Cape Town, you have location services uh, uh, as an option. And you have different uh, 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 languages um, that you could potentially use and then different networks. That is either Google Ads, Google Display, Shopping, or YouTube. And then obviously the budget, the cost at which you want to set up your ads. You can start with 100 Rand, you can start with 200 Rand, you can start with 1,000. Uh, 100k or a million or you could use uh, different keywords so the varying keywords that you want to use online to target your clients and then obviously there's then demographic lifestyle interest and topics so this is when uh, what I mentioned earlier so if you want to target avid readers business people this is what you can do and then scheduling scheduling is concerned with seasonality so that's when you want to show the ads for example you can show ads in winter you can show ads in the summer you can show ads for a week or a day or a couple of hours or in specific peak holidays, um, such as Christmas or back to school uh, or uh, specific Easter or religious uh, holidays. So this is the kind of scheduling you could potentially have. And now we'll move on to Google Shopping ads. So Google Shopping ads are like doing window shopping, but doing it digitally. So for example, we see here, um, uh, it's, a, it's a type of ad that actually features detailed information about specific products that you can sell. Shopping ads can also be featured just one product or showcase several related products. Shopping ads also uh, allows customers to search for, compare, and shop for physical products. For example, you see here, a client looks for buy Jordan sneakers, and then they will see five comparison of Jordan sneakers in this instance. They can compare the price of these Jordans. They can compare where they will be coming from, and they can compare maybe the model and the design of those Jordans. What's really sophisticated about this is that in the event that the person selects for the Jordan uh, 5 Retro, um, uh, the, 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 the customer can actually be retargeted by showing the same sneaker they looked for. And then this is very pleasant uh, when they're looking for uh, the products that they actually really like. Just to conclude again and make an emphasis, 
that Google helps you drive sales with action-centered ads. Uh, you can see this. You only pay when people actually click on your ads based on all those ads that you mentioned, that is search ads, display ads, uh, shopping ads, and YouTube ads. Again, managing a business is really a full-time job these days, but advertising your business online doesn't actually have to be uh, that way. So let's start uh, with, uh, you know, let's get your business uh, set up uh, online uh, into, uh, into Google Ads. Please do remember that um, you can do your account setup and campaign management at no cost uh, using Africa uh, 118. Uh, they will help you set up the Google Ads uh, on search, uh, display, uh, shopping, and, um, and YouTube. Uh, any other questions? Uh, and, uh, and thank you for today. Thank you, Goodman. I'm sure our guests are really eager to get going. To assist in getting you started on ads, we've invited our partner, Africa 118, to share how they can help. Bernard is the Google Ads project lead at Africa 118 and is on standby to show you how he and his team can assist you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Banan Muiru from Africa 118. Thank you so much for finding time to join us. Uh, I'm just going through uh, the process that you can use to get in touch with us for Google Ads account setup or campaign management. Head over to google.africa118.com and you'll find a form there. Just fill in your business name, the phone number, uh, and of course the email address. Uh, you can type a small message on the text box and then click submit. Uh, we're going to receive those details and we'll have uh, our agent at Africa 118 get back to you. And you'll be provided with a form where you can fill in your business details, the website URL, uh, the target cities that you are going to target for the uh, for the Google Ads. Uh, once you do that, we're going to head to account setup and, of course, agree on the type of campaign that you're going to run. And, of course, at what budget. Uh, we are starting off at 6,000 ZAL. Uh, which you spend for the first 60 days, and you'll get the same amount as a promo code of 6,000 ZAL. So you'll have 12,000 ZAL to spend within the first two or other three months. And in terms of payment, you can use the bank deposit. And once you do that, we'll be able to go and, of course, have monthly recap just to go through the performance of your ads account. So make a payment uh, through the bank deposit. We'll be able to discuss this further when our agent gets back to you. Thank you so much for joining us. That was my time. Thank you.